हे लर्नर्स प्रांशी वर्मा दिस साइड वेलकम टू दिस यूट्यूब सेशन गाइस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न पावर क्वालिटी एंड फैक्ट्स एंड दिस इज योर इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांच सब्जेक्ट यूनिट फोर फैक्ट सिस्टम इंट्रोडक्शन ओके योर यूनिट फोर नेम इज फैक्ट सिस्टम इंट्रोडक्शन मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर फॉर योर अपकमिंग ए के टी एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो लेट्स बिग इन in this your first question is facts stands for option a flexible ac transmitted system option b flexible ac transport system option c flexible ac transmission systems option d flexible ac transfer system right answer is option c flexible ac transmission system okay डोंट बी कन्फ्यूज एंड प्लीज ध्यान रखिएगा दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वन मार्क में आपसे बेसिक लेवल क्वेश्चन से पूछे जाएंगे तो आपको अपने सब्जेक्ट की थ्योरी बेसिक लेवल पर क्लियर है तो आपका एग्जाम काफी अच्छा हो जाएगा ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फैक्ट एम्प्लॉय ब्लैंक स्पेस फॉर स्विचिंग ऑप्शन ए हाई स्पीड थारस्ट ऑप्शन बी लो स्पीड थारस्ट ऑप्शन सी रिएक्टिव फायर ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ द अब राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए हाई स्पीड थारस्ट ओके सो फैक्ट एम्प्लॉय हाई स्पीड थारस्ट फॉर स्विचिंग नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ फैक्ट कंट्रोलर्स ऑप्शन ए सीरीज कंट्रोलर्स ऑप्शन बी शंट कंट्रोलर्स ऑप्शन सी कंबाइंड सीरीज सीरीज कंट्रोलर्स ऑप्शन डी Combined series shunt controllers and option E all of the above. Right answer is option E all of the above. Okay, so they all are types of fixed controller. It may be series controller, it may be shunt controller, it may be combined series series controller, and it may be combined series and shunt controller. Okay, next question. Which is are the advantages of fixed controller? Option A, enhance controllability. Option B, increase power transfer capability. Option C, increase the reliability of AC grids. Option D, all of the above. Right answer here is option D, all of the above. Okay, so they all are advantages of fact controller. Enhance controllability and increase power transfer capability is the advantage of fact controller and increase the reliability of AC grids. Okay, next question. Why is the main disadvantage of facts? Option A, very costly. Option B, less costly. Option C, enhance controllability. Option D, none of these. Right answer is option A, very costly. Okay, so main disadvantage of facts is facts are very costly. Okay, next question. Facts devices are generally used for the compensate blank space of the transmission line option a reactance option b resistance option c conductance option d admittance right answer is option a reactance facts devices are generally used for the compensate reactance of the transmission line next question fact devices generally deals with option a apparent power option b active power option c reactive power option d load angle right answer is option c reactive power okay so facts devices generally deals with reactive power next question automatic generation control agc controls option a frequency option b steam and water input option c torque Option D, all of the above. Right answer here. Option A, frequency. Automatic generation control means AGC controls frequency, not to be steam butter input and not to be torque. Okay, only frequency. Next question. Very important question, guys. Full form of UPEC is option A, unified power flow controller. Option B, unified power factor controller. Option C, Unified Power Flow Compensator. 
ऑप्शन डी यूनिक पावर फ्लो कंट्रोलर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए यूनिफाइड पावर फ्लो कंट्रोलर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट कॉम प्लस ट्रिपल एस सी विल मेक ऑप्शन ए यूपीक्यूसी ऑप्शन बी टीसीएससी ऑप्शन सी एस बी आर एंड ऑप्शन डी यूपीएफसी राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी यूपीएफसी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यूनिट ऑफ बेब नंबर बेटा इज ऑप्शन ए रेडियस किलोमीटर ऑप्शन बी रेडियस सेमी ऑप्शन सी रेडियस पर सेमी ऑप्शन डी रेडियस पर किलोमीटर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी रेडियस पर सेमी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन Saturated reactor will generate harmonics of the order of option A, 16 k plus minus one. Okay, k means thousand. Option B, 9 k plus minus one. Option C, 18 k plus minus one. Option D, 20 k plus minus one. Right answer is option B, 9 k plus minus one. Okay. Next question. Facts device used in option A generation, option B AC transmission, option C DC transmission, option D none. Right answer is option B AC transmission. Facts device is used in AC transmission. Next question. Voltage controls means option A boosting the feeder voltage. Option B, reducing the line voltage under over voltage conditions. Option C, keeping the voltage level within the allowable limits. Option D, none of the above. Right answer is option C, keeping the voltage level within the allowable limits. Okay, voltage control means keeping the voltage level within the allowable limits. Next question. Line drop compensation corrects for option A. Line drop lagging PF. PF means power factor. Option B. Voltage at leading power factor. Option C. Voltage drop in feeder lines. Option D. Transformer voltage drop. Right answer is option D. Transformer voltage drop. Okay, so line drop compensation corrects for transformer voltage drop. Next question: Which is the shunt compensation devices? Option A: TCSC. Option B: Triple SC. Option C: UPFC. And option D: SBC. Right answer is option D: SBC. Okay. So SB is the shunt compensation devices. Okay. Next question: Triple SC is a option A: series compensation device. Option B, shunt compensation device. Option C, combined compensator. Option D, loss reduction devices. Right answer is option A, series compensation device. Okay. Next question. SBC stands for option A, a static BAR compensator. Option B, saturated BAR compensator. Option C, static BAR controller. Option D, saturated BAR controller. Right answer is option A, static BAR compensator. Okay, SBC stands for static BAR compensator. Next question, full form of EAG in HVDC converter is option A, extinction angle control. Option B, extinction angular control. Option C, excitation angle control. Option D, none of the above. Right answer is option A, extinction angle control. Okay, so full form of EAG is EAG in HVDC converter is extinction angle control. Okay, next question. The main objective of series compensation. Option A, it improves the power factors. Option B, it reduces the fault current. Option C, reduces the voltage drop over long distance. Option D, none. Right answer is option C, reduces the voltage drop over long distance. Okay.
so the main objective of series compensation is reduce the voltage drop over long distance okay guys now see you in the next video thanks for watching this video please share this video with your friends and wish you a very very all the best for your examination